the ashes that made trees bloom once upon a time there lived an old couple in japan they had no child but a pet dog they loved the dog as if it was their baby the dog was called muko the old lady made a blue cushion for their dog and muko loved to sit on it the kind couple fed the dog with the pieces of fish and boiled rice in return the dog also loved them very much the old man was a rice farmer every morning muko followed him to his fields muko never harmed the white heron birds that walked in the footsteps of the old man to pick up worms the dog was as kind as his master one day the dog came running to its master and kept its paws against his legs it motioned him to some place behind first the old man thought that the dog was playing with him but then the dog kept on making long high unpleasant sounds and running backward and forward so after a while he followed the dog after following muko the old man reached to a place where the dog began to scratch the ground as if a bone or a piece of fish was buried there to help his poor pet the old man brought out his hoe struck it on the spot and found pile of gold so the old couple became rich in an hour they bought a piece of land gave a feast to their friends and helped their poor neighbors in the same village there lived a wicked and greedy old man and his wife they were not at all sensitive or kind they scolded all dogs whenever any passed their house after they heard about their neighbor's fortune they also tried to find treasure with the help of their dog so they brought muko to their garden and offered him good food but the dog was afraid of the wicked couple so he neither ate nor moved this made the wicked couple angry they took hoe and spade with them and dragged the poor dog out of doors as they reached the pine tree the dog began to scratch the ground the greedy couple thinking that a treasure must be buried started digging at the spot immediately then the greedy man with a spade and the old lady with a hoe began to dig but there was nothing but a dead kitten the smell of which made them drop their tools and shut their noses losing their tempers they kicked the dog and beat him to death and the lady chopped off his head with the hoe they threw his dead body in a hole and buried him when the old man got to know the news of his pet's death he mourned for him and went at night under the pine tree and paid his respects he put fresh flowers there and kept a cup of water and tray of food on the grave he burned several incense sticks he mourned for muko and called him many dear names that night as he was sleeping the spirit of the dog came in his dream and told the man to cut down the pine and make a mortar and a mill from it the old man did as he was told to do he chopped the tree and with the middle of the trunk he took out a section and finally made the mortar and the mill as the new year came nearer he wished to use the mortar and the mill to make rice pastry with the help of his wife he pounded the rice when the old women took the mill and began to grind the bean heavy gold coins started falling from it again the old couple became rich meanwhile the wicked couple was spying on them they wanted the mortar and the mill so they borrowed it from the old couple the next day the wicked couple went home quickly and tried to do the same but as soon the old man began to pound the rice and the old wicked women began to grind the rice and beans turned into worms the wicked man turned angry and destroyed the tools and he used the broken pieces as firewood the old man had another dream that night 
the dog spirit came and told his owner how the wicked couple burned the mill and the mortar he told him to take the ashes of the burnt mortar and mills and sprinkle them on the withered tree to make them bloom the old man woke up and went to the wicked couple's house he found the couple sitting near the fireplace warming their hands and feet with the heat of burning mill also a pile of broken pieces of mill was kept behind the old man politely asked for the ashes of the mill the wicked couple treated him with disrespect and scolded him but they allowed him to fill his basket with the ashes when he returned home he took his wife to his garden where their cherry tree was withered as it was winter the old man sprinkled the ashes on the tree the tree was full of blooming cherry blossoms it perfumed the air everyone got to know about this and came to see this wonder the wicked couple after listening to this story gathered all the remaining ashes and kept it safe to make with the tree blossom the kind old man heard that the damio was to pass along the high road near the village he took his basket of ashes and went to see him as the train approached he climbed up into an old withered cherry tree that stood by the wayside in the days of demios it was a custom not to look down on the lordship all the people on road would fall down on their knees until the procession passed by a tall man marched ahead asking the people to get down on their knees but the good old man didn't kneel down the leaders saw him but as he was an old man he ignored him and passed by as the van drew nearer the old man took a pinch of the ashes from his basket and sprinkled on the tree in a moment the flowers bloomed the demio was delighted to see a withered cherry blossom tree suddenly sprout beautiful cherry blossoms he ordered the train to be stopped and got out to see the wonder he called the old man and thanked him he ordered presents of silk robes sponge cakes fans and other luxurious things to be given the demio even invited him to his castle the old man happily went home to share this good news with his dear old wife when the greedy neighbor heard about it he took some of the ashes which had magical powers and went out on the highway he did just as the old man did when the lord himself was right under the tree he threw not a pinch but a handful of the ashes over the tree the ashes didn't transform the wither tree into a blooming one instead the ashes remained ashes only the ashes fell on the lord and his wife and it made the couple sneeze and choke which ruined the pride and dignity of the procession the man who was leading the procession dragged the greedy man from the tree and threw him into the ditch he also beat him severely the greedy man thus died in the mud however the kind friend of the dog lived in peace with his wife leading towards a happy loving and prosperous old age